There is no good lighting in this freaking place. Thanks, Jesus. Thanks. So if you've been following me for the, like the shortest amount of time, you would know that I'm not a very sporty person and I count my daily exercise as getting up out of bed. Anyway, so yesterday, segue, I went to Wimbledon. My mum was like five minutes before we had to leave. Hey Andrew, wanna go Wimbledon? So I went off to Wimbledon. I got the centre court, Marcos Bagdadis versus Andy Murray, which was a good, good game, although towards the end, Andy Murray completely obliterated Marcos. So, whilst at Wimbledon, I learned a few things. There's kind of like rules and etiquette of being at Wimbledon. And the main reason there are rules are because 95.5% like of people there are middle class. And then the other 0.05% the are like upper class or working class, and this is for special reasons. Blah, blah, blah. Babbling, you know? So, rule number one. Always have a pims in your hand and always be slurping loudly because how else would other people know that you're having pims? Two, never shout out the player like, Oh, go on, Andy, oh, go on, Marcos, in the middle of a game. Because you are trying to show that you are as pretentious as you can be because freaking social classes. Yeah. And three, whenever the person you're rooting for loses, you make no, no face. Indifference. Like that. And whenever the person you're supporting wins, you have to show a look of superiority and look around at the crowd. For example, when Marcos got a point, it was like... Who is you, bitch? <laughs> Thus concludes my video on Wimbledon, really. Overall, the whole experience of going to Wimbledon, again, this is my second time that I've been. It was, it was great. Like, I don't really watch it religiously. But it's great to watch in person, it's really tense and stuff, and I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. P.S. I might have been on TV because I sat next to Marcos's mother because I'm like cousins with him. Who knew? So, yeah, and I will see you soon. Strike a pose.